Hey, hey, I'm back. Anyway, thank you for coming by my site. Again, if you have, if you didn't been before, thank you so much. Um, someone in my last video, thankfully, said, maybe you need a new webcam. You know, how old is your webcam? And I thought, you know, it is pretty old. I think Anonymous gave it to me in 2008, or at least that's what Mark Bunker told me. So anyway, I went and I got a new one. It seems very similar, so I don't know. You guys let me know if it's clear or not. But I'm just going to do a thing on um, why I named my YouTube site Tori Magoo 44. And it's kind of an odd name. I would never pick it now. I picked it after escaping out of the Church of Scientology in 2000. And at the time, Scientology is a thing called disconnection, where if you leave and say anything, they all just, it's like a wall. They will not talk to you. They will not look at you. You, are, you don't exist. And I know parents who haven't talked to their children in 30 years. They haven't ever met their grandchildren. It's really serious. It's really awful. So anyway, I knew they weren't going to talk to me because I had posted on the internet, Magoo left the building. At the time, I knew nothing about the internet. I thought there were probably 50, 60 people on the internet. I really didn't know. But I was kind of scared because I've, I've kind of been on a bit of the darker side of Scientology and I knew that they did creepy things. I didn't know exactly what, but I just kind of, kind of knew. I wasn't really sure. And I kind of had deluded myself, nah, they don't really. But anyway, now I'm out. I posted it on the internet. I know they're seeing it. And uh, I just didn't know what to do. And I asked my friend in Andreas in Norway, who was the person who actually helped me wake up. And he said, um, I'm going to connect you with somebody. And, and he connected me with Stacy Brooks and Bob Minton and Jesse Prince. And at the time, I was just kind of plugging into my dad, who passed away when I was 22. But I always kept him around. I always felt like I could feel his spirit or what I thought was his spirit. You know what I mean? Just what he would have done kind of thing. Like I could think, well, what would he do? What would my dad do? So that was it. I kind of thought, oh, what would he do? And I just got this get out of L.A. now. And I was like, okay. But I, his nickname from me was Magoo because he was a broadcaster. He was in the football American Football Hall of Fame. He played for the Chicago Cardinals and, the, and one year for the Green Bay Packers. And then he went on to broadcast in the 60s with Kurt Gowdy. So I saw him on TV, and I thought he was funny. You know, every, a lot of people did. He was, he was he had the lighter side of it, and he helped a lot of people understand what football was about, per them, per other football players who've told me. But anyway, he passed away very young at 51. And uh, so now I just felt like that's, that was his advice. That's what he would have said. And I thought, he's right. I got to get out of here before they come and get me. And I, again, did not know what they would do, and I didn't want to know what they would do. So I just thought, I'm doing it. And Stacy said, what do you want to do? And I said, I don't know. And she said, well, why don't you come here for a week and just decide? And I thought, okay, but I don't have the money to fly there. And Bob, who happened to be a multimillionaire and was helping them, never was in Scientology. But he said, look, I'll just pay for your ticket. Go to LAX. It'll be there. But anyway, long story short, that's why I kept the name Tori and Magoo, which my nickname for my dad was Mr. Magoo. And then his football number was 44. So I thought, you know, I'm keeping this guy close. Here, Mark Plummer sent me this. I didn't even know he had football cards, but this is one of his football cards. There you go. Anyway, I hope, I hope this, this, I'm mainly just making a short video because I wanted this to have you guys tell me if you can see better, if it's clearer, or not because I can return it she said you can return it within 30 days and if you don't think it's good and you think I should get something else please put in the comments what you think I should get it's not like gigantically expensive unless you want to send it to me because I can't afford it but anyway I can afford this and I got it and it, it to me it looks like it's okay but I have no idea so you guys let me know 
And uh, there you go. That's the story of Tori Magoo 44. And now, years later, it's been, what, 22 years, I would certainly change the name, but it's my name. It's part of my YouTube site. So there you go. That's that's what it is. It, it's not anything that anyone like that's in the church that's looking for me. I mean, they might look up Tori and they could find Tori Magoo 44 or my name and they could find me because I'm all over Google. So that's good. And the church has helped with that a lot. Thank you to the Church of Scientology because you guys have a lied about me for 22 years and kept it up on the Internet. And that has pissed me off. So then I go, all right, I'm going to make another video. I warned you when I started my YouTube site. They jumped on right away and started saying creepy things about me. And I just said, no, you know, every time you screw me over, I'm going to screw you twice. That's it. That's my policy. And, you know, it's 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 really and, and all of you, the YouTube people, the viewers. And I hear this from other people who make videos. It, it's so true. You know, it's like you guys are the lifeline because you care. You know, it's like if, if you weren't there. Uh, you know, I'd be talking to a wall or something. So you guys are amazing. And some of your tips and advice have been incredible for me personally. Having lost all of my 30-year friends and my husband of 27 years, I can't tell you how much. You know, one of my friends even, who's an ex-Scientologist, but left with a whole bunch of her friends at once, was kind of like, why are you always on the Internet? And I said, you know what? You don't know my story. You don't live my life. You didn't lose everyone at once. I did. And everyone that's on the internet has just been a godsend to me, really. Just truly joyous, and I thank you. So anyway, that's it. That's the story of Tori Magoo 44. That's why I named it. And you let me know if this YouTube site is better or the webcam is better or not. And if it isn't, please be honest and let me know. And if you have an, a suggestion for an affordable webcam, let me know that too. What, what the name is and the brand and that kind of thing. Okay? This is a Logitech one. That's what that is. I think this is kind of the same thing, only it's a smaller little device. But anyway, there you go. And I, I put it on all by myself. I'm so proud of myself. Anyway, there you go. I used to always have to call Bunker. <laughs> Now he's a councilman, so I can't. Anyway, love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend and stay safe.